Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about ControlNet for Flux model, which was released in a while now. But I was waiting for the right moment in order to give you that video. So today I will guide you step by step on how you can download the models, install some additional nodes, and I will also provide you a very good and simple workflow in order to use this ControlNet version for Flux models. We will be using the Flux Goof model, which was released recently and we will also test out the new all-in-one control net in order to compare it with the previous v of the control net version so without further ado let's get started as always before we can start you need to install some additional nodes starting with the xlab flux nodes you can just use this link found under my description or on my workflow just copy and paste it here once you open up the page click code copy this code then go to your comfy y root folder search for comfy y custom notes type in here cmd then type in git clone and paste your code click enter and it will install automatically the xflux uh, nodes after that we're gonna install the control net all-in-one loader you can also use this link here once you open up the github page just copy this link again go to custom notes Type in cmd on the search bar and do the same thing git clone then paste your code here once it is installed once it is installed go to confui manager custom nodes and search for control net you will find out this control net auxiliary preprocessors if you don't have this installed just click install here for my case i have already installed this uh, these nodes so just click try update once the update is finished update comfy y then restart your comfy y and we are good to go on the next installation step just we're gonna download the control net models we have the control net v3 models and we have the control net all-in-one models which was released recently just copy this link here once you enter the hugging face website you can find all the control net v3 models that you're gonna need for this tutorial, I'm gonna use the depth model and the canny model. You can also use the, the head model. Then do the same thing. Once once it is downloaded, just enter comfy y root folder, go to model, search for xlab, then you will find this control net file here. Just paste this file on this control net folder. If you can find this control net folder, make sure to start comfy y after uh, installing the, the xflux nodes good now we're gonna do the same thing for the control net all-in-one model just use the link here go to file and download this 6.6 .6 gigabyte version once it is done you don't have uh, to uh, to paste this model uh, here on the control net uh, folder just go models and search for the old control net folder once here, just copy this uh, control net all in one file. And for my case, I, I rename it to all in one flux model in order to, uh, to find it more easily. Now that we have everything in place, we can start uh, doing things with this control net. Okay, before we start, let's, I will give you a quick overview on my workflow, which is a very simple and basic workflow for flux models. Here we have our load image nodes. And here I prepared a series of different uh, control net preprocessors. We have the Canny Edge preprocessor that create those type of lines in our image. We have the Depth Anything, which can be very useful for creating a depth map according to our image. And finally, we have our Head Soft Edge lines, which also create some soft lines around our, our images and objects. The next group is going to be the, the clip text encoder, which is very useful for flux models. Here I have my dual clip loader. I am using the two model T5XXL and clip GOF since I am using flux GOF model. Here we have our clip text encoder for flux and everything is blocked directly into a XLAP sampler. I am using steps of 20 and CFG of 1. However, don't bother yourself too much with those uh, parameters since we can affect the final results using the control net loader models. And here we have our control net v3 models, which is mainly composed of three nodes. We have the load flux control net, 
that we saw earlier here we can select uh, our control net type i have the canny and the depth and we have the apply flux control net and uh, where you, we can vary our strength and uh, affect the final results and finally i have here the unit loader for guff models if you don't know what is the guff models for flux you can check my previous video i will put the link on the top of the video okay now everything is plugged here we have the apply control net and the model loader and the next group is the all-in-one control net which is mainly composed of three main group we have the instant xflux union control net loader where we can load our uh, file then here we can select different type of control net and that is the main difference between the v3 version and this all-in-one version here we have the tile the blur the pose the gray and this new lq control net then we will need this node in order to plug the positive and the negative prompt and also the control net and the VAE and the image was created using the preprocessors. For example, here I am using the depth control net. I will directly plug it into this image. If for example I want to change it to canny, I will only need to plug this type of image here. And everything will be set up. I will plug this back for this control net version need the flux development model i already tried with the goof model but the results was very awful so for those of you who don't have a very high vram it's gonna take you a lot of time in order to generate one images since this model is very slow or with the low vram graphic cards but the results is practically the same the main difference will remain in the type of control net that is provided with this all-in-one version here we have different type but for the v3 we only have three control net types here i have uh, my latent image resolution i choose this latent resolution on purpose in order to gain some time but you can increase it if you want and finally i will use the vae decode with the vae that was provided with the flux models so to make it work just bypass those nodes in order to work with this v3 version Make sure that the unit loader gov is plugged in. Select your control net model. Here I will select the depth and make sure that the depth preprocessor is plugged here. Now all we need is to press Q prompt and I will show you the results alongside with the generated time. And here you can see the performance of my PC. I am not using all my VRAM. That's that's very good but i am using practically all my graphic card uh, capacity and this low vram usage is mainly due to the guff model that was created recently and for the generated time it took around 7 minutes and 21 seconds to generate this image as you can see the results is very good but let's compare it with the other version of the control net using different preprocessor i will do a canny edge generation and Let's see what's the main difference between them. Here I have my second results with the Canny control net. Here you can see the main image that was created using Flux model. And this is the variation of this image using both depth and Canny control net. As you can see, the image looks very good, but I personally prefer the depth version to the Canny one. I also did another example of this modern room. And the results is pretty cool, but I also prefer this depth version, which uh, looks more closer to the original one. On the other side, the image created with the all-in-one control net were very awful. Final image was not closer to the original one. In addition to that, the generated time took me almost 15 minutes to create one image, which is very huge compared to this goof version of control net. So I strongly recommend you to use this goof model compared to this all-in-one version for control net. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel and leave uh, some comments down below. And don't forget to watch my other video. Thank you.